Am I the arsehole? For refusing to yield a seat when a family said they were saving it for their son in the bathroom. I was flying with my mom for the holidays when we got to our gate. The gate was fairly crowded with only two available seats. We sit down and then this woman speaks up from next to us saying she was saving that seat for her son who was in the bathroom I did not know this when I sat down. I decide to not give up the seat saying that seats are for everyone and you can't really save them when the airport is as crowded as this. Am I the arsehole here and it is okay for people to save seats at crowded airports? Edit everyone in this situation was an adult. The son of the mother was an adult who looked to be in their twenties and not a kid. When I sat down I did not know anyone else was sitting there. This is some Larry David type shit. Did she have something in the seat claiming it for her son or was it just wide open? If wide open, not the asshole, because how were you to have known? What sucks about seats at airports is that many people put their stuff on it to make it look like they're saving a seat when in fact they just don't want anyone sitting there and want as a place to hold their stuff. Not cool either way. We aren't in kindergarten anymore adults don't save seats. Not the asshole. Wow this is a good one. Can we tally up the results? Not the asshole versus you're the asshole. Not the asshole, they should have put something on the seat. You're the asshole, it's crazy to me the hills people choose to die on. Instead of being like oh sorry didn't know and getting back up, you're willing to, at best, sit for a while in an airport next to people who actively loathe you. That family is definitely laughing about the rude person at the airport to other people they're visiting. You're the asshole. It is perfectly acceptable to save a seat for someone who is only going to the bathroom or getting refreshments. This is totally different from saving lounge chairs for people who might show up hours later. You're the asshole. It's absolutely okay to save a seat for someone in the bathroom. You're the asshole you're using preschool move your feet, lose your seat logic. Unless you're literally four years old. There's this thing called common decency that will help resolve these quandaries without needing to involve a subreddit. You're the asshole. He was in the bathroom. He was sitting there then got up to go to the bathroom. You were incredibly rude and selfish. May you always have someone steal your seat when you stand up for even a moment. You're the asshole. You weren't rude for sitting, you were rude for staying after she told you it was being saved. You're the asshole. The seat wasn't free. It doesn't matter if you knew when you sat down. You were told instantly. Get up. You're the asshole. And PPS saying you need to leave stuff on a seat to save it are idiots. Just respect a fellow human and find a new seat or stand. It's not the end of the world. You're the asshole. Doesn't matter that he was in his twenties he just went to the bathroom doesn't matter if you didn't know when you sat down, you just say oh my bad and get up. You're the asshole. He went to the restroom. Yes you can save those seats for members of your party that get up to go to the restroom, grab a coffee, talk to the gate agent. Honestly do better. We as a society have lost all common decency. And so have you. Not the asshole. If they wanted to save the seat, they need to put something on it. If the airport isn't crowded at all and there are more seats available than you would have been. You're the asshole. This isn't an on your feet, lose your seat situation. It's one where the seat is being saved by the person beside and you should have moved when they said they were just on the bathroom. You're the asshole. He went to the bathroom for a moment. It's reasonable for them to expect the seat with their family would still be unoccupied upon return. People hate traveling during busy holidays because assholes like you are also traveling. It is mind-boggling to me that people are more respectful of inanimate objects than an actual human using words and verbalizing that the seat is taken already. Well if he's in the toilet then he has a seat, playful face. Doesn't matter that her son was also an adult but honest I guess you can say the seat was given to an immature child after all. You're the asshole. 
You're the asshole. Do you always behave this entitled? Total dick move. You're the asshole. What if he had already claimed his seat but then got up to use the bathroom? You're the asshole. You're the asshole next. You're the asshole. How rude. What if it was your mom in the bathroom? Total asshole. I think you already know this. The debate in this thread is gold. So you'd be fine with it if you went to use the restroom and someone took your seat, despite your travel companion telling them they were saving it for you? You're the asshole. How awkward and uncomfortable it must have been while you continued sitting right next to the people who asked you not to sit there. You're the asshole. That family thinks you're the asshole, the people around you who heard that convo think you're the asshole, and anyone on Reddit who doesn't lack basic social skills thinks you're the asshole. Was the son upset you took his seat? You're the asshole. These comments are unhinged lmao. I think Redditors are just afraid of interacting with other human beings, seeing that most of them apparently would give more authority to a random object on a chair than to actual human words. You're the asshole, it's not like someone came up minutes later claiming to have saved the seat, at worst you should get up when he comes back. Utter. Untitled brat. Utter. You're the asshole that the airport is the wild west and everyone's a jerk so embrace it. Utter. When this happens to your mom I hope you don't wonder where the karma comes from. You're the asshole. Not because you're wrong per se, but because culturally the polite thing to do is get up if someone says someone else is sitting there. Socially it's just a bit of a dick move. You're the asshole it's hilarious that for some people the only options are to piss yourself or to lose your seat. Utter. Not the asshole no saved seats in crowded airports, unless handicapped or really young.